everybody, let's make it pop. It's Matthew Reiner here. We're going to do another learning unit about insects and arthropods. Today, we're going to make a spider pop up. Ooh, creepy. Creepy. I really like spiders, actually. Well, let's learn a little about spiders, huh? Spiders have eight legs. They also have fangs that inject venom. And then they have spinnerets that extrude silk so that they can make webs. There are at least 48,000 species of known spiders in the world. And I bet you there's more out there we just haven't even seen. Spiders reproduce using eggs, and female spiders can weave silk egg cases that can hold hundreds of eggs in each one. Well, let's get to making our very own pop-up spider. All right, what do we do first? Well, we have to download the templates, and there's a link down below. You can just click on the link, print out the templates for the pop-up uh, onto cardstock. I would use a 110-pound cardstock. Um, you can get it at any office um, supply store. Uh, you can use any color you want to. And you're going to see on the templates there's two types of lines. There's um, a solid black line and there's a, there's a dotted uh, black line. We're going to start with a dotted black line and we're going to score those lines. And that's just using, we're going to, we're going to um, sort of make the fold line. So we're going to take a big paper clip like this and a ruler and we're going to rub the edge. We're going to press with the um, paper clip along each one of those dotted black lines, just like this. By the way, this is Kirsten. She's giving me a hand. Those are not my actual hands, but this is my actual voice. So let's press with the edge of the paper clip along the ruler there on all of those dotted black lines. And what it's going to do is it's going to make it easier for us to fold along all those lines. Next up, we're going to follow along all the solid black lines with a pair of scissors. We're going to cut them out. We're going to cut out all those pieces. Make sure to pick some scissors that you're comfortable with. And as you're cutting along some of these edges, sometimes it's more helpful to keep your scissors in one place and move the paper. Now, once you've got all the pieces cut out, let's pre-fold all the pop-up pieces here. So let's start with this one. I'm just going to pre-fold this little tab here. And then these tabs here, we're going to actually fold the main tab and then we're going to press the other one on the inside like that. We're going to do that for both sides. See that? That's one side. And then we're going to do the other. Just like that. Now we're going to fold this little tab right here on this little piece. And this, on its opposite piece, we're going to fold that little tab, just like that. Let's go on to this piece. We're just going to fold it down the center. And then we're going to fold this little in center piece, this little side thing right here, just like that. We're going to fold it under. We're going to fold these going up. There's one on this side and one on the other. And we have to also make sure that the center of our main base page is also folded. There we go. We're ready to glue. You can get some regular craft glue. I would prefer using um, sort of a craft glue like Elmer's glue rather than a glue stick because sometimes that glue stick is a little messier and they don't always stick as well. So now these two tabs we're going to start first. See how there's a gray shape on the base page? We're going to follow exactly on those tabs. We're going to put some glue in that little area there. See, it fits the exact shape of the tabs on both sides, left and right glue in there. Don't overdo it with the glue. Don't get glue. Don't make a big puddle of glue. Just take your time. And we're going to glue this one right in place, just like that. You're going to see the center of this large piece lines up with the center of the base page. See how that works? Nice. So we've got both of those strange shaped tabs glued down. Now you're going to make sure that the center of those those tabs doesn't stick down to the page. See that center, those center gray areas? We don't want those sitting down to, to the base page. And it's okay if you don't have it lined up perfectly, you can always pull up the tab before it's finished drying and get it in the right direction and then put it right back. See, that's how it's supposed to be glued on. Just like that. Don't rush this thing either. If you want to let it sit for a second while it dries, do that or press it down with your fingers. Do that too. I always want to rush to get these pop-ups done but because I'm so excited to see it work. But sometimes we have to be a little patient. All right, next up. Let's glue this piece on. See these two gray tabs? See this gray area right here? They fit right in place. Look at that. I always try to make the tabs um, when we're making these pop-ups. I always try to make them so that they fit in exactly that shape so you don't get confused. 
So let's glue those two tabs. We're going to put glue on the tabs right here, or you could put them on those, those gray glue areas on the base page if you like. Put it on the other side and just glue it into place just like that. Make sure that the left and right tabs, the edges, don't go over the center of the base page. There's a reason why it's split down the center there, and, and the reason why it is is so that we don't block that fold. Never fold a fold over, a, or never glue a fold over a fold. All right, now let's, let's glue these top legs on. So let's put some glue just in this little gray area here on the top and see how that shape kind of fits right there. All right, there's our left back leg. That piece is glued on. Let's do the same for the right side, for the rear leg. Now let's glue these legs. Now this, this is several legs at once, right? This is like three or four legs on this one piece. So we're gonna glue it. See how that little shape, see how that little tab there fits right there? So we're gonna glue, put glue on those gray areas. Yeah, da -dee. Put a little glue, don't overdo the glue. Don't overdo. We're gonna put it in this little tab area here on the base page on the left side, and then see, watch, look, that piece fits exactly on there where that gray area is, and let's line up this tab to lay over that gray area. And you can pull it up if you didn't get it quite right. There we go, that lines all up. Make sure it's glued on there flat. All right, so these are two little tabs. There's one on the abdomen up at the top, and on the bottom there's one where the face is, all right? So we're gonna put some glue on these little tabs. This is gonna just make our spider face a little bit more dimensional. So we're gonna glue it together. We're gonna kind of pinch it together, see, at the front. And now, let's do, this is the back. This is where the booty is. No, excuse me, this is the abdomen of the spider. It's just funny when you say booty. We're gonna glue that little tab there. And now we've built our pop-up. So there's the head, there's the body. Now there's some artwork on the base page. You can add the extra legs. Um, you can put the legs on those other two um, leg areas there for your spider. So remember, there's got to be eight legs, right? So some can be drawn on the base page too. And there it is, our very own pop-up spider. I, this was a really cool learning unit. I had a lot of fun. I love spiders. I know they're kind of creepy, but we need spiders. They're, and they're really, they can be such beautiful creatures. So be sure to respect them out there in the world. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, let me know on my social media, whether it's my Instagram or, um, or my Facebook page, uh, Pop-Up Books by Matthew Reiner, or my new TikTok. Yeah, I'm doing the TikTok. So, hey, I'll see you next time. This is Matthew Reinhardt. Uh, remember to make it pop. Bye-bye.